do a little trailer preview of our trailer we got from DNR Trailers for our landscaping company called DV Landscaping. Today we're going to epoxy the floor, give it a little extra coat to keep her nice, sturdy, and safe. And here we are. Here's the man, Dan, DV hey. Landscaping. What are you doing right now, Dan? Dan from DV Landscaping. Uh, we just put these hooks up here we got from Home Depot. Just like $2.40 to get two of them. You just take your rakes and shovels and tools and set up right in place and good to go. Alright, here's all the materials we got so far. But before we tell you about that, you'll see we got everything all taped off. We swept and blew out the trailer, getting it nice and clean and ready to go. Alright, what do we got here first? Now we got this epoxy paint. Rust oleum. Got several different colored flakes, black, white, blue. So we're going to do about two and a half cars. We want the double pack to make sure we have enough for the trailer floor. The trailer is 24 foot long, 8 feet wide. And inside the box we have these pouches, two of them. Instructions. Two bags of flakes. There's a bag open already. And this stuff right here is for cement. We won't be using it on the wood. Let's get the stuff out of the way. We also bought an extra bag of flakes just in case if we have enough for the floors. But the package did come with two bags. Also, we got some extra anti-skid adhesive. What are the first steps to get started in there, Bob? Well, we take this package. It says it's got the letter B and the letter A. I have never done this before, but thank God there's YouTube videos on how to do this and I guess we just take this and roll this until you hear a pop and then B mixes into ah hey it worked thank god for YouTube then you take this and kind of mix it back and forth it says for three minutes then you cut the seal and you pour it in this bucket and start cutting it in all right so now we got it all cut in my wife actually helped me my wife Veronica that's why we call it DV, Dan and Veronica, landscaping. Now I'm gonna roll some of this out. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Got that special epoxy roller. I'll roll this out for a little while and get back with you. All right. Almost at the halfway mark. This paint is covering up those nasty black tire tracks. Doing real good, but we're going through a little bit more paint than I hope to. I might have to go get one more box. The second coat might go further though. It's coming out good. Second coat make it shine. Okay, I'm at the three-quarter way done mark for the first coat. Went through a lot of this paint. Second coat. I'm sure it's going to go a lot further. It probably went further if it was cement, of course. But it's nice. It's almost 70 degrees out here. This stuff should dry pretty fast out here in Michigan. Can't think of a better way to uh, spend my quarantine days where we're locked down. Catch up on some maintenance, make this trailer look good. I'll work my way down to the tailgate now. So far, one packet of paint will cover a 24 foot long, eight feet wide trailer, one coat. You're looking at it. I got enough paint to do one coat. I'm gonna open up the other paint in a little bit. Do my second coat and let it dry for about an hour. And as I'm painting, I'll throw the flakes down. We are with the first coat down, let it dry it overnight. We're getting ready to open this new bag and we're going to roll it. It came with two bags because we got the two and a half car garage one. Pop it in there. Make it. Mix it for three minutes. And I'm going to add this anti-slippage in there, just sand. 
We're gonna do sections of it, and then we're gonna put the flakes. Got two packs and bought the next one in case we run out. Working on that second coat. We're gonna do real small sections at a time, and then put the flakes down. Another minute, we'll put the flakes in. It's about 65 degrees. Should dry pretty fast. The next thing I want to plan on, like I said, is to logo up this trailer. I need to get a tip on a good place to get this trailer logoed up, get it wrapped. My logo's on it. DV landscaping. By the way, it's DV landscaping. Dan and Veronica. How cool is that? doing the sirens again? Okay. Flake time. I've never done this before. Got these pretty flakes. And yeah, we're just gonna slosh them everywhere. Don't know how heavy to make it. I guess it's I get think I think it's preference of how much you want. I like I like the color so the more the better. Cool. Yeah it looks good. I don't know if you can see it yet. What do you think? I like no. it. No? That's a little bit more right there. Looks good. You can't tell with the video too much, but looks pretty darn good. I like mm -hmm. it. All right. We'll see you towards the end. About a quarter of the way done. Almost halfway there. It's looking really cool. I like it. Very pleased. Looks so good. I'm loving it. Alright, here we are. Just the past the halfway mark and I ran out of flakes that the box came with. It came with two packets, but heavy, we put it on extra thick. Heavy duty flakes that we don't see the oil and dirt. You flake. Yep, get it closer. Oh shoot, we got more than enough done. Both of those bags combined together was about this much. You might want to throw some more in that section. All right, let's throw some more right here. It looks so good. It looks a lot better than I thought it was going to actually. A lot of good videos on YouTube out there to show you how to do this. There, I can zoom in. Look how nice that looks up there. It's already drying up evenly right here. You can see the lines where we're doing sex section by section. But up there, the section's already dried into one. Looks so good. All right, we're at the very end of the trailer. Good thing I got this extra bag of chips. We went real heavy. Like I said, it covered tire tracks from our zero turn rollers and oil. Any oils? Oil thermometers dripping hydraulic fluid or oil. You would never notice on this floor. Come out really, really good. All we got left is this tailgate. Get this drop gate down. Yeah. Looks so good. Like you said, we want thicker to help hide any dirt tracks or oil stains that are gonna definitely come from mowing.